Yeah. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. All right. Today, finally, we have the king, Florin Pop. I really, I really love him. I've been connected with him, I think, for about one year. We'll talk about uh, his journey. I really want to hear him uh, live streaming, YouTube videos, uh, Twitter, blogging, uh, writing a book. Uh, it, it, this has been really a really crazy year. But before doing this, I need to do something because uh, you you challenge me and you know that you <laughs> when you challenge me to do something <laughs> i need to take that challenge so I, now i'll take this cauliflower and yeah and then like good. yeah yeah <laughs> mm. Mm, sounds crunchy <laughs> yeah thanks for having me i'm really excited too uh we planned this for a while so <laughs> we finally mm. are doing it yeah oh Mm. Yeah, crunchy. Oh. I never tried raw cauliflower, so yeah. <laughs> That's very good, very good. Mm. Sounds good. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't expect that coming. <laughs> good one. Never challenge me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never expect to do it live. <laughs> Almost alive. Yeah. Mm. Good. So, man. Mm. Yeah. So, sorry for this, but it was this was a challenge. <laughs> it targeted me. Yeah. And, that, and, and that's my answer. <laughs> so, welcome, Florian. I'd like you to introduce yourself and talk about your journey uh, from the beginning because uh, we have a little, we have time. So. Yeah, I really want because uh, I admire you so much uh, that I want to hear your story. Please. Yeah, yeah. So my name is Florin Pop. Uh, I'm a web developer from Romania. Uh, I started in 2013. Uh, was right before college in my final year of high school. I started dabbling with freelancing, although I didn't know much. So it was more of a hobby to uh, like code and create small projects. Uh, then uh, I got into college, uh, computer science. And I think in the second year of college, I got a part-time job working as an X pages developer. I totally forgot what that was. <laughs> and <laughs> never knew it before. And I kind of forgot it. Uh, I stayed in that job, part-time job while I was in college for like, uh, I think eight months. But then they shut down the IT department. Uh, they kicked out all of the uh, developers, but they kept me uh, for two reasons. I was part-time, so they didn't have to pay me that much. And they also wanted me to transition to design. But well, I'm not a designer, <laughs> not a good one though. Uh, and I've, I've quit the job and I focused on my college. Uh, I also continued to do freelancing, like uh, smaller projects. It wasn't full time, just during college. Uh, and yeah, I uh, after I finished college, uh, I w went freelancing full time. Mm -hmm. I got bigger projects. I started learning React, and well, before learning React, I learned JavaScript in depth because I realized that all of the JavaScript frameworks and libraries are built with, well, JavaScript, right? So if you want to understand the how end, they work, yeah. in the end, you it's should first understand how JavaScript works. And then it will be much easier to get uh, around any library, any framework. Yeah. So I learned React. And I think it was probably after a year or so, maybe not even that much. Uh, I got a job as a React developer at a big company. Uh, I took the job because it was, uh, I, I wanted to see how it is to work in a team with other developers, to learn more from other developers to, well, before that I was a one man show and I didn't know how to uh, work my way around bigger projects. So I got a job to, to, to see how it is. Yeah. And also the pay was good and uh, we just got married. So it was <laughs> nice to yeah. save some money. 
uh, and I... the last thing <laughs> I did, well, not necessarily the last, but the latest <laughs> journey started uh, after roughly two years of being in that job. Uh, I started blogging. I started being active on Twitter. Uh, and six months in, I quit my job and I went full time into this new journey of content creation, Twitter, blog. Then I started a YouTube channel. And uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I, we're think here. I think <laughs> when, when I started following you, uh, you was already on YouTube. It was like uh, January, January 2020. About mm -hmm. or maybe to December uh, 2019. Yeah, I started in uh, November 2019. So yeah, so he had already started. So mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, and now finally, I I, I didn't even uh, think that I would have been at the end of the year <laughs> to, just talking to you because uh, I really admire you from the beginning. I became your Patreon because I, I really like I really uh, like your style. I invite this a little bit because you're really entertainer. When you when you do live coding session, yeah, I had so many people uh, that have, came here, and all they say that it's so hard. Uh, they they gave up on live streaming, but they are also successful. But uh -huh. I think I also always say that you are for me you are an exception, a good exception <laughs> of a really good uh, live live streaming coder. So if, yeah, we can talk about this uh, mm -hmm. now if you want. I also would like to yeah. know about your first video on YouTube. Uh, I can't remember that, uh, so please, uh, yeah, I want to. I want to hear that. Yeah, so uh, I think it was, uh, yeah. So in it was in November last year, 2019, when I posted my first video on YouTube. It was after several months of me wanting to post something on YouTube, but because of my accent, which was, well. It's not that good now, but it was way worse. <laughs> and I was kind of afraid, but then uh, people on Twitter uh, encouraged me to just go and upload and it will be good. As long as they understand what I'm saying, it should be fine. Uh, and yeah, I want to thank those people here. <laughs> uh, they encouraged me to start. Yeah. Uh, I started then in November and I kept uploading. I think I uploaded like 12 or 13 videos in November, uh, in November and December last year. And then at the end of the year, I said, okay, 2020 will be all about my YouTube channel. I want to hit a hundred thousand subscribers. So starting in January, uh, I did a challenge, 31 videos in 31 days. I did like 14 or 12 live streams in January. So. January was full of content. Then I did the Free Code Camp curriculum challenge where I took the challenge, uh, I took the, the entire curriculum of Free Code Camp and I completed it while live streaming. No, uh, and uh, yeah, that gave me a lot of experience uh, with live streaming. I, I like it because uh, when when you look at tutorials on YouTube of coding tutorials, you just see like the polished version. You just see all the good things. Like it all goes smoothly. It's perfect. But in reality, it's not, well, not always. <laughs> I think in most cases, it's, it's not like yeah. that yeah. because you have issues, you have bugs, you have to Google things, uh, you have to, I don't know, reach out to someone else. So I think live streaming and why I like it so much is because it shows the entire process. Yes, it might be time consuming, uh, especially to watch, but a lot of people really appreciate that uh, I show the entire thought process. So building a project is not, is not just going in and coding and you're done because you have to plan the project, you have to, uh, I don't know, maybe look up some tutorials to learn something. And um, yeah, I started to like this journey. Plus, I really like that people in during live streams, they are helpful. So whenever I got stuck, mm. for example, I had yesterday a, a stream, uh, I'm building a blog uh, mm. with Next.js and Tailwind CSS, and I had people in the chat who have more experience than I have uh, with Next.js, and they helped a lot. Like they pointed exactly where I should go and look for the resources I need. 
uh, which is which is great. And uh, yeah, uh, I I've been thinking a lot of how to make coding fun. That's my my mo motto of trying to find. All right, coding is nice. We can make a living out of coding, uh, but most of us really like coding as a hobby. So how can we show others how fun it is to code and create projects and enjoy? That was my yeah. thought process about yeah. live streaming and all that. Yeah, yeah. I really like your approach because as you said, when you make some tutorials, there is nothing wrong. If a lot of people, they like to do the polished version. Also, I've done yeah. some yeah. a couple of videos. In that case, I think that you are um, supposed to like be, for example, like the teacher. So you are teaching something. You are trying to do your best. In yeah. your case, you are like a super student. So you are the one doing all the job, but you consider yourself at the same level of your yeah. audience. This is why people love, love you so much because yeah, you put yourself at the, I think, uh, at the same level, you like to interact with them. You have no problem in admitting that they can know something that you don't know. This is a really good sign of being an expert. Let's be honest. Uh, yeah, because you have the problem. You, you don't have to. Uh, I like your idea that you are doing like saying not to show that you are good, that you want to do something at the first try without Googling. Yeah. I like your really your, your down to her, to her uh, approach because this is, uh, yeah, this is why your live streaming are successful. And of course, yeah. also because you are really funny. I've been on some of your live streaming. Sometimes when I walk, I interact with that. Uh, and I really like the idea that you said uh, also, let's talk about, uh, you also do this kind of brainstorming at the beginning. So what could be an idea? Sometimes you get some some good idea, maybe not from me because I was just checking sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I see people that are yeah suggesting good things also yeah. in the beginning that it's it's very important because this, <laughs> yeah, this gives yeah the, the, the direction of the of the project. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And yeah, I don't want people to get me wrong. I really like uh, polished videos and tutorials, which goes from A to B, uh, because yeah, sometimes you don't have time to just watch someone mess up and fix it. But uh, yeah, so it's like giving people multiple choices. You can either see, okay, you're looking for something specific, like for example, I don't know, making a heart in CSS just a random example, you find a tutorial which does exactly that, right? And you follow it and you have the heart. But then uh, maybe you want to see another tutorial which goes beyond and shows how you use that heart to add it to a website and has multiple features. And you want to see the entire process. So it's just giving people uh, multiple uh, options. I also have videos which goes from uh, which are polished and I'll be adding more in the future. So yeah, uh, multiple options. And yeah, yeah. I think that the real problem with tutorial is that you look tutorial to watch tutorial say, okay, this tutorial is great. My coding also is great. And then you are just stuck. You don't know what you can do. Instead, maybe, as you said, if you watch a live streaming, maybe it could be a little time consuming. I agree with that. But you can understand really, yeah, because you, I've seen your mistakes. Uh, so you talk about uh, yeah. this is wrong. Uh, you have tried something that, that, that didn't work. So when I try to do that, I can remember, oh, he made that mistake so I can avoid to do that. Yeah, so exactly. this, this is the secret. This is the secret uh, yeah, of the, the success of your live streaming. Yeah, I wish you the best. Uh, so I, I'll try, yeah. to, I try, I try to, go to, to come to see you. But uh, as I say, sometimes it's hard to watch other contents if you also create your own society. Yeah, I, it is. I you... totally agree. It's hard yeah. to keep up with everything if you... Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's very hard. Uh, yeah, so so, what are your plans for, for this period? So, so do you want to uh, keep going on YouTube, uh, keep doing live streaming? So what are your plans for, yeah, for next year or now? Yeah, yeah uh, I have several plans for next year. I want to continue to grow my YouTube channel by adding more content. Uh, I also want to continue streaming. Uh, I want to find a balance of, like I said, streaming and creating uh, polished videos for YouTube to, uh, yeah, reach as many people as possible to help as many developers as I can. Uh, I also working. I'm also working now on a new project called MakeMoney.dev, where uh, 
you'll find a blog soon. <laughs> it's not launched yet, uh, where I'm creating a blog on which I want to share my entire journey of how I monetize my coding skills and also what I'm learning now along the way. I want to try out, I wrote a book, 10 Ways to Make Money as a Developer, where I'm highlighting 10 ways you can use your coding skill to, uh, yeah, to monetize your coding skill. And I want to build this blog to go like hand in hand with the book and to show you uh, exactly, all right, let's see, maybe someone wants to, I don't know, launch a digital product. All right, I'm going to do this, not necessarily for you, but I'm going to do this as an example. I'm going to document my entire journey. I'm going to share what I'm learning. I'm going to share how much I make. And you can then uh, read about it. Uh, I might do some YouTube videos also. And I hope to simplify the process for others. Uh, I want to sort of like putting myself in the shoes of the worker. <laughs> I want to try these things on my own so you don't have to just go in blindly to just try new things. Of course, uh, not uh, my journey will be different from other people's journey, but uh, the more I can share, the more I can learn and share, I think it could have the community. And uh, yeah, we can all learn from each other and uh, yeah, be successful together. Yeah, I, I really love it. Your approach of showing showing your mistakes, uh, your errors, so you can, as you said, to help others to to don't make don't uh, make your mistakes. This is also yeah. what I'm what I'm trying to do. So I'll keep following okay. you. Don't worry because I really <laughs> like your style. I think that this is also is very very useful because, uh, for example, for me uh, in the beginning I was not that uh, learning in, pl in public approach. So I was just learning by learning by myself. So now I'm trying to do also these. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, for example, now I'm started to do some uh, some live streaming. Mm -hmm. I, I'll I'll take uh, I'll go to, for 100 live streaming in in 100 weeks, which is kind of it seems easy, but uh, maybe it's not because it's you need not. to be really <laughs> consistent in the long way. Maybe, for me, yeah. maybe it's easier to do 100 in 100 days because you need you know that you, that it's, it's, yeah. you need to stay focused and then you can relax maybe a little bit. Yeah. So now I'm trying to do this uh, and also show my process. Uh, I really, yeah, I really like this. Uh, mm -hmm. And yeah, can you get, can, and uh, also I want to say that I, I bought the, the book on the first day. Uh, yeah. when, when he put the link, uh, it was uh, like a pre-order. I, I was, I, mean, I think, one of the first ones who just clicked it because I was just so interested in that. Mm -hmm. If you want to talk a little bit about the chapter four, I think, which mm -hmm. is the YouTube one, Mm -hmm. I made a, a small video about that because I'm reading, I'm reading that one. So uh -huh. can you talk, can you give a, a little trailer of that book? Yeah. I'll, I'll leave the honor. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> so chapter four is, is, chapter four is about how to make money uh, running a YouTube channel. Uh, and I go over uh, like what tools you need to start, uh, what what's the mentality before you, you want to start a YouTube channel. Uh, I go over what are the ways you can monetize? Because most people see uh, YouTube as, okay, I put out videos and they make views and I make uh, revenue from the AdSense, right? Like the more people watch the videos, the more money I make through AdSense, which is okay, but that's just one method you can monetize the YouTube channel. There is like, you can get sponsors to uh, like pay you to promote your products or services and you they yeah you can they can pay you so that's another way to monetize you can provide uh extra features and extra uh, services on top of your videos on youtube as uh, a premium for those who want to support you uh then you can sell promote your own products if you have youtube also works very well if you have a business uh, you're running i don't know maybe you have a SaaS a software as a service and you want to promote it, creating YouTube content also helps because YouTube overall is, uh, like YouTube is the second largest search engine after Google. So people, including me and probably you too, uh, whenever you want to learn something, you either Google it or if you want to see visually, you just go on YouTube and okay, how can I, I don't know, uh, create a form in PHP or JavaScript or whatever, and you use the platform to learn. 
so people can leverage that uh, to promote their own services. And uh, over this chapter, I go into details exactly how much money I make on YouTube from because it, it can differ from the niche. If you, for example, uh, create uh, videos on web development, you get paid an, an amount. If you uh, create videos on finance, for example, you pay you get paid way more. And I talk about why is this. Uh, and uh, yeah, I try to give an overview. Okay, what is this, what is this to be a YouTube developer? Uh, well, a YouTube content creator as a developer, you know, and yeah, yeah. yeah. And all, yeah, I'm kind of new of this, but I'm I'm reading this book. That book I found it really interesting, as you said. It it in it it is helping me to save time because mm -hmm. you are sharing your experience. I'm reading that book. I also like yeah. I also like to to for example in in that case I, I like the the reading format. So it's strange that we are talking like on YouTube in a, in a, in a book, but it works. For example, I like that. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe so yeah, I can take a pose of just uh, watching videos. I can just relax a little bit more. So I really like this format. I don't know if you are planning to do a video format on that one, but I really Maybe. like this. I really like this uh, approach of reading that because sometimes, uh, yeah, it can also be an advantage. I don't know. Yeah, it, it are different media. Yeah, yeah, people learn from different sources. Yeah. And also, like I spent, when I started YouTube, I think I spent months and hundreds of hours, if not thousands of hours, to learn about how YouTube works. So uh, in the chapter, I'm trying to compress everything I learned over the periods of months. And now, yeah, yeah. I'm over yeah. here I, now. Yeah, I know, I know what we're talking about because for example, now I'm also using some time to watch videos because uh, yeah. I was one of the person who said, oh, maybe on YouTube, you click a button somewhere and you upload the video and you are done. It's yeah. not really, it's not really much like much. that. <laughs> if you want to be successful, it's not that, it's not that yeah, easy. Yeah, it's, it's much work. harder because everyone uploads videos, but some people are successful and some not. And there is, there is some difference why. Well, the, there is some luck involved also, uh, but uh, on the long term, you can really uh, decide the path of your of your YouTube journey if you put in the work and you you learn what are the little things you can change to to get there. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and I really uh, I always say that you should be honest uh, authentic uh, but yeah, I it's, it, it's like it's like it's, it's a different thing it's like we're watching for example twitter analytics it's not really a problem it, that uh, that starts are uh, important for you to understand what you should do if you want to do that if you don't want to do optimization other things uh, yeah. catch, uh, catch thumbnails and really better thumbnails but for example for example you you are already uh, at least you know that if you do that things uh, yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah they, definitely they can help you yeah. yeah, and you don't have to. So, for example, I don't like video editing. So I just find it time consuming for me because, uh, like, for example, if I record for an hour, I need two more hours at least to edit the video out of that. And I just find it time consuming. I could just rather in that time create another video. So what I did is I outsourced it. There are people who like editing to add effects and all that. Uh, so I just... I'm just paying someone now to do this for me. Also the yeah. thumbnails and you can you can outsource uh, the the things you don't like to do and just focus on what you're good at. Yeah, I think that there is nothing wrong with that. Uh, the only problem is that maybe you need to find someone who edit the, the things in a way you like, but if you are so, lucky, lucky enough, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, you can uh, hire someone and definitely you can give you uh, give them your feedback and over mm -hmm. time uh, they learn what you like and uh, they'll adjust yeah. so it might not be perfect on the first run because well yeah. we're different yeah. people and we have yeah. different views yeah. but uh, if on the long term it, it will yeah. be a good collaboration and also you can try someone else if it doesn't work yeah, for, yeah for example I, for example i've never tried that uh, i could make a try i don't know if you can send me a link or someone but maybe i can i can give it a try because for now i've, been, I've always edited my own videos uh, mm -hmm. i don't know maybe in the future i'll give it a try just a try yeah, just sure. just just to see just to see if i like this idea 
now sure. I have a, now I, I have a question. A question before I forget that one because uh, uh, I I've, I've been on your live streaming with Dennis Ivy. It has been really mm -hmm. great. But you say something that I was like nodding uh, on uh, on my screen when when, you, when we talked about uh, quality and quantity because I mm -hmm. was one of the people. I think that in the past uh, I also tweeted about uh, quality is better than quantity. So some people maybe can can go to to check that tweet. But I don't agree with that uh, more on videos, for example, now. Yeah. So can we talk about this? Because I really like your, your example with drawing, for example. Yeah, I would yeah. say that to my friends, to my real, friend, real life friends. So can, can you, can you yeah. say that part? Yes, yeah, so uh, people, like, I also did a poll on Twitter asking, okay, what would you like, quantity of quality? And the majority of people said quality, of course, because you want good quality. But what they found is that uh quantity brings quality so for example it was this uh, i i've read this story i don't know if it was 100% uh, true or it's fiction but it's a good it's a good story so there was uh, in a class of students uh they had to uh half of the students had to draw uh, well everyone had to draw uh, something uh but half of the students had to draw one perfect painting the the best they could do and the other half had to draw as many painting paintings as they can and at the end the study revealed that uh the students who had more paintings to do had better quality overall because they practiced and practiced and practiced and it got better with time but the other students who focused on quality, they were too, like, yeah, they were too focused on the quality and they didn't have so many examples to choose from. And at the end, uh, yeah, uh, this is what I, I saw also on my YouTube channel. So doing more videos uh, helped me get different aspects. And overall, it gets better because, like, for example, let's see... Uh, how do you talk in front of the camera, right? Uh, if you focus from the beginning to have perfect speech and to don't mess up anything, uh, it's just time consuming and you might even end up quitting. But if you're okay to uh, be yourself, to not focus that much on all the tiny mistakes you do, over time, it just gets better and better and better. Uh, I've seen it in my life. I've seen it in, look at, for example, on Mr. Beast. And we all know the YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, I watched, I think for for half a day, I watched all of his uh, videos from the beginning. Mm -hmm. They were just like, oh man. <laughs> like <laughs> the quality, the video quality was bad. The audio quality wasn't great. The content overall wasn't great. But look what he does now. It's just perfect now but he did hundreds and thousands of videos so yeah what yeah. i say is start uh, i learned this from a video from roberto blake he says create 100 crappy videos i know he, he i know he answered me on twitter like okay i sent him a message like i'm doing this uh, 100 uh, today's uh, yeah. 100 days of challenge videos and it's, he replied me on twitter i was happy about that yeah uh, yeah Definitely. so, so you get I better with time. yeah i didn't want to interrupt you because i was really listening but for example it's, it's exactly what happened to me i started by making videos of five minutes me running we'll talk about that later um but it took me like 10 hours of editing Thing, uh, yeah 20 hours sometimes i need to, to repeat that again uh, uh yeah and then i started making docker videos so I, start, I wanted to make like a perfect video of three minutes it took mm -hmm. me like two weeks to make the first one <laughs> one week to make the second one and maybe yeah, maybe in one year i can manage to do that but i was really struggling because it's, okay. it was very very hard and then it happened to the video call with adrian Tuarog and it changed my approach to videos mm -hmm. i had like this rapid uh, switch also of content on my channel because in that case i understood that okay i have uh, a, a bad uh, in a bad english i don't i don't have a super com communicator online maybe also because of the language mm -hmm. and so i've switched my, my approach and i 
now I can say that it's working because first yeah. of all, I'm, I'm first of all I'm doing watching hours on YouTube, that's so, and, and that's useful for me. Yeah. Then I'm connecting with all my friends. I'm also talking to you now, so that it's already a, a great goal <laughs> for me. As you say, by doing, I think that now, if when I'll go back in making some video tutorials or live streaming, I will be way more relaxed. It will take less, less time now. Yeah. I think, I think, yeah, as you, uh, and now I really think that uh, quantity is over quality. So maybe I'll delete the tweet or I, or I leave the tweet. And, but I've ch I changed my mind. I think what is important is that, okay, you can work on quantity as I'm doing now, but what is important it's in your head in your head you, you need to think about quality over time so you yeah, just you don't, yeah it's it's bad that you should keep doing just the quantity over time forever exactly I think, I think if you do just quantity over time you will improve anyway uh -huh. <laughs> even if you if you if you don't notice that but i think what is important is that while doing this all these videos maybe long videos i also watch them again two times because i need to edit them also to add chapters. So now I watch them two times every time when, when I upload them. But they really helps me to understand the lighting, yeah, the what I'm doing wrong. If I say too much, mm, mm, and <laughs> I, I'm doing that uh, still, okay. Yeah. But I'm trying to I'm trying to improve. Uh, yeah, the more you do, and I think that the our brain it works like on situations. It's like it's like this when you when you do chess when you play chess. When you play Everything. volleyball, yeah, when, you, right. when you play volleyball, volleyball is a sport which is all about situations, strange situations, mm -hmm. and also chess. So this is how our brain works. If you have seen, this is what is a experience. Yeah. The experience is that you have seen a lot of different situations, and you understand in that situation what is the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. So of course, if you do one hundred live streaming, if you do a lot of live streaming, after a while you understand, for example, what works and what not. If people yeah. laugh, uh, this is also, I think, also, yeah, for showmen, for showmen, show, yeah, people that they do, they do the shows, they, they understand when, when people laugh, what's working, what to, what to say, yeah, it's, it's not really faking, it's really that you get the experience to, to communicate with people, so, yeah, yeah. it's all about situations yeah. and experiences, yeah. Yeah, so I, over time, just what I say uh, is create a lot of content, if you can, if you have time, create as much content as you can as much content as you can and try to improve just a little bit every video just improve a little bit maybe uh, like the lighting a bit this video maybe next video you try to make it in one go uh, then uh, maybe i don't know so just a little bit every time and you'll see progress uh, yeah and, and also and uh, sorry <laughs> so uh, also uh the perfection is something we we try to achieve but it's not really possible perfection that doesn't really exist and also keep in mind that we are our biggest critic so uh if something so if you do a video and it doesn't seem right to you just share it with a couple of friends because they'll see it differently and for them it will be good because when you do a video you focus on everything like okay i said mm, i just didn't say anything for three seconds yeah. <laughs> like for those who are watching it's not that important right yeah. so yeah a lot of times it's just in your head so just get it out and you'll do better next time and you keep improving and overall it will be get I, much, I, much I, better i really love your your tips because they are they are really true because now i'm doing this maybe if i had not started a youtube channel i, would, I couldn't uh, not really understand you but uh, yeah if you are about to create a YouTube channel or you have done maybe a couple of videos, watch yeah. this video because this can be really, really useful for you. You are saying all, all right things. You are really honest also to yourself. This is yeah. really important. It, it's, it's important. Yeah. It makes you, it, yeah, it makes you also, it makes you to sleep well. <laughs> when you sleep, you have your <laughs> honest to yourself. Uh, you really sleep exactly. well. Uh, and this but, works. So this step of creating, uh, it works with articles, it works with projects, it works with playing chess, it works with anything in your, in your life. The more you do it, I just noticed that uh, and I was playing something, I don't know now exactly what game was, but I noticed after two weeks of playing, not a lot, but I noticed after two weeks I was much better than when I started. 
you know just the progress of just a little bit of time uh every day or yeah i'd say every day some people might not have time to code every day or create a video every day for a while uh, or write i want to in 2021 i want to write as much as possible i don't want to say every day but that's the <laughs> that will be my goal but i don't want to make it public yet <laughs> i want to write more to get better of uh yeah getting people's attention to know exactly how to phrase my words and i also want to create more videos like adrian does he's just a huge inspiration for me he's yeah, top but, notch yeah. Yeah, but he, he also says that he is inspired by you if you, if you watch our, our <laughs> my very trouble. if you watch my very first video yeah, he yeah. talks about you talks about you and i also yeah. i also admire you it's, yeah. a, it's a circle so i i inspired yeah. him to start youtube and now he inspires me to create much better content and be yeah. consistent. Yeah, Adrian, uh, it's it's really great at creating quality videos. For example, Definitely. Really, really I said at the beginning that he will be he will be big, and I was right. Now he's getting bigger and bigger on YouTube. Yeah, I still remember that when I went on his YouTube channel. It was like February. I seen like uh, three three thousand subscribers when I watch all his videos, and I tried to refresh. It. Maybe it's a bug. Maybe it's a bug on YouTube. It can't be <laughs> just just three thousand subscribers or four thousand. So so many. Yeah. I tried to refresh it a couple of times ago. It can, couldn't be possible for me. But now, yeah, now now it's getting what he really deserves. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah. And now uh, I'd really like to, to thank you because I was really struggling in making this YouTube channel, man. I, I, and you finally, you gave me the, the idea to start because I wanted to create this channel so, so many times. And finally, with this idea of running for charity, yeah, this, this really blown my mind because I, I had a, just bought a GoPro and I had this idea, okay, maybe I can try to do this running for charity challenge mm -hmm. by recording myself, putting the video YouTube, but maybe it's a little bit bold move because I'm mm -hmm. a developer, but this really changed, changed my life. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, it could help. Yeah, 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 you changed my life. It's, it's, re it's real, <laughs> yeah, it's real because uh, yeah, it's by, by, doing, by doing the, the first video and then the second one, I, I started to get some donations from people and I said, okay, this is this is working. This is incredible. Yeah, mm -hmm. I also took, took the chance, yeah, to also watch my city, maybe under sunrise and sunset. I never watched that uh, that <laughs> Trevi Fountain at, four, at 5 a.m. in my life. But yeah, so it really, it was really helpful for me, for others, uh, for really everything. So yeah. I, I, I feel really a different person now. Sorry for yeah, saying yeah. this. Uh, but uh, yeah, it really changed my approach to everything. Finally, thank you, thank you so much. I want yeah, you to be. You, you, you did the job, so <laughs> I just, I just give you the little uh, boost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel so, I feel so light, so light, light now. So <laughs> now I feel so light. <laughs> even if yeah, even if you are on holidays and I'm eating a lot these days, <laughs> I, I really feel so light. Maybe you can understand. Well, what I say because uh, yeah, it was something that I wanted to do. So now, for example, I'm trying also to get other people to start making videos. Maybe you've yeah. noticed that <laughs> because I know that you can do that. Uh, yeah, I, it was so hard for me, but uh, yeah, by little by little, as you said, uh, exactly. you need to yeah, maybe you need to fight to, to fight a little bit, but you a little by little you can solve some problems. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, uh, so yeah, your photo plans. Uh, uh, I think that a lot of people already know you, but I, I leave you to say, where can we find you? I think <laughs> you are almost everywhere, but yeah. where can we find you when you'll be more active next year? Yeah, we... so I'm most active on Twitter. Uh, I think you'll put the links below so people can find them. Uh, I'm most active on Twitter. I have a Discord channel where I talk more uh with people if they really like direct conversations uh also my youtube channel i have also facebook instagram linkedin all of those but i don't use them much at the beginning i was everywhere but then i niched down on the platforms which work the best for me uh and yeah 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 yeah, uh, yeah. also uh, what you said is true that not every social works for uh, everyone I've yeah, seen exactly. many, I, I, I had yeah, so many successful people and maybe they are not on Instagram or they have 100 people on Instagram. Yeah. So definitely. you should really find what really 
works yeah, for you. And what, what to like also, because it could work. I think with consistency and persistence, you yeah. could get big on any platform. I saw big uh, YouTuber, uh, big programmers on uh, Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Facebook. So you can find people everywhere. It's just, yeah, you, I felt more uh, like I felt the community be strong, that it was stronger on Twitter. So I picked yeah. Twitter a long term. Yeah, yeah. I also discovered this uh, dev uh, tech, uh, tech Twitter community, tech, yeah. tech dev Twitter community. And it's really full of people, really always ready to help each other. Yeah. Also, yeah. when you have some problem, I, I, I know that when I have some problem, for example, when I, I was looking for an editing uh, uh, program, I say like, which uh, which editing program I can I use? And you mm -hmm. get so many replies. It's yeah. really helpful. And also, uh, also for, I think also for programming questions, you can yeah. make programming That's questions. You you get uh, you get very good answers. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it can yeah. really be useful. Yeah, yeah, and maybe in my opinion, maybe it's better to do that instead of just sending messages like to 1,000 or 100 yeah. people. In my opinion, that, it's it's better to you will have a, a, an answer maybe way before because maybe that that person is just uh, offline. You have no, it's not to watch your your question. So yeah, I all, I try to to answer to people, but uh, I think in my opinion, it's better. Yeah, to do yeah, like it a, could work. You might need do, a bit of an audience or yeah. something, but yeah, it could help definitely. Yeah, I think maybe maybe some people they send like direct messages because maybe they are afraid, they are worried. Some people yeah. can judge me if I ask questions, but we, we no. all need we all we all need answers exactly. anywhere, any, Everyone. anytime. Everyone's yeah. googling. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, really, thank you, thank you, Florian. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I appreciate yeah. it. Please give me give me a, a personal favor. Subscribe to his channel. Let's help him, even if this channel is is, is, is still uh, so little. Let's help him uh, because uh, he's really, I think, yeah, one one of the the crucial person, the crucial person of our dev community. I, I consider you. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. So, <laughs> okay. yeah, so yeah. I, I, really, I really wish you really really best luck. I will yeah. never be here without you. That's true. Yeah, don't say that. <laughs> you yeah, would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Thank you, yeah. So, Florian, yeah, Florian. thank you, thank yeah. you, and I, I, I'm really happy I could help. Like, yeah, yeah. we yeah. we go through this life, and if we can make an impact, I, I feel like we we did we did our our job. Just going through life without affecting others in a positive way, of course, it's just sad. <laughs> so, if I can help. You or anyone, uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. I'm really happy. Yeah, yeah, and as you and as you said, sometimes we have a different perception of ourselves. Ourselves. Yeah, definitely. So we maybe so maybe also you you perceive yourself in a different way. No way you see different. every problem you can have, but from the outside you really look great. Let me tell yeah, you this. I, I have this, a lot of accept, bugs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, but accept this compliment from from yeah Thank from outside it. because this is what this is what I see. Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, okay, we are done. Yep, yeah, thank you bye. for having me. Have a bye. great day. Yeah, bye bye.